Hi there, welcome to MC Moments. It's a time to have a discussion and this is MC Moments interview. And we're gonna talk about SMEs, especially at this particular season when, well, it's quite hard for people who especially are in business. What can they do now during this COVID-19 season? I had a moment to speak to James Karundu. James, welcome to MC Moments. And of course, how are you doing and how are you coping up with this particular season? Oh, thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, we're grateful because we have managed to pivot uh, some of our clients and uh, our businesses to online. And uh, we have clients that we are supporting. A number of them have dropped out, uh, but uh, we are hanging in there, grateful despite the challenges. So how can SMEs protect and sustain their businesses, uh, of course, with the environment that we are in right now? Okay, thank you. We're in a lockdown season, we're in a time of change. A lot of things have shifted and a lot of things have shattered. Uh, but the good news is that uh, there is one thing that has not been locked down, which is your mind, your imagination, your talent, and your ability to serve your clients. And that is the starting point. That despite the lockdown, there is still something you can be able to do. Not easy, but it's doable. Your mind is not locked up. So James, most SMEs operate with casuals or temporary employees. And of course now the cash flow has been affected. How do you advise them to address this whole thing of payment? Because yes, they don't want to lose their employees. It's hard to maintain them. What would be your direct advice to them? Okay, first of all, right now, everything is transient right now there is nothing permanent so employees casual uh, so don't think in terms of taking on new people everybody must be on casual and everything must be on do and get paid uh, you want to reduce your expenses you want to reduce your overheads and uh, with cash flow being constrained um, it goes without saying that uh, you can't take on new people and negotiate with the ones that you have uh, so that you can uh, reduce uh, what you're spending on them. And uh, there is no way around it. It's a matter of negotiate, reduce expenses, and at the same time, find a way of accommodating the ones you have. Don't just let them go just like that. James, is it the right time to invest or is it a survival time now? Well, um, let, let's put it this way. Um, when your house is on fire, the first thing is survive. So, oh. I mean, if your roof is leaking, the first thing is sort out the leaking roof. So I would say survival is number one, because if you don't survive this, then there is nothing else to uh, think of investing in later. So for most SMEs, it's about getting through these tough times. It's about uh, finding new uh, sources of uh, opportunity to be of service. And, and this is the good thing about SMEs is that an SME is generally nimble and agile, which is different from big corporate, big corporate organizations. And that is the one thing that uh, is going to help you as an SME. Uh, because some opportunities are not available. Uh, some doors are closed right now, but there are also others that are open. And uh, the, the way to think about it then is, how can I serve my people? How can I be of service? What area can I get into? Where can I pivot to? With this in mind, I want to be of service, I want to help someone solve a problem. So in some of those instances, investment will be required, but not heavy duty investment. Uh, it's more of investment towards um, equipping yourself with what you need. And earlier on, we said, uh, get temps, get people whom you work with, pay them, they go, be agile. So the investment required is more about equipping, it's more about the small infrastructure that you need to 
have so that you can serve your clients. But on the other hand, with respect to investment, there are those who may have the resources, there are those who can be able to wait until, you know, longer term. And for those people, this is the time to invest. In fact, there's this phrase, um, diamonds in the dust, that there are opportunities that are there. And, and allow me to say this, uh, uh, Maina, that yeah. every season comes with opportunities, not for everyone, but for the person who is willing to look at it from a point of service and from a point of um, long term, especially the people who have the resources. So for most people, it's survive. For most people, uh, find a different way to serve. For most people, invest in whatever small infrastructure that you need. But there is still also another candidate who is looking for diamonds in the dust. Diamonds in the dust indeed. Mine, allow me to say this. It's all about how you look at it. Mm -hmm. And I'd like uh, the person who is watching to just take a pencil and write down these two words. Okay. Opportunity is nowhere. No. Uh, go to the next exactly and then go to the next word nowhere underline the first three letters the, the first four letters so you're left with what opportunity is now, now here <laughs> i like that it's yes. now and here yes yes <laughs> Exactly. And you see for the SME, the SME has to has to think like a beginner. Uh, for Because when you started, you are just this person who is passion driven, this person who is looking for where can I be of service? Yeah. Who can I serve? So we have to wear that beginner's mindset in order to harness the opportunities that are there today. So what would be your top critical questions? that every SME or business owner needs to ask themselves before making decisions in any way, especially this season where everybody's a bit stressed up. At this particular time, uh, the SME business owner needs to ask themselves, who and where are my relationships? The gold is in the relationships that you have, in the people who you have served, in the people with whom you have interacted with the social capital that you have generated the goodwill that you have generated that is where your opportunity begins so who and where are my relationships james would you like to share some of the tips uh, to keep that momentum and you know just sanity of mind during this season uh well tip number one is that uh you've got to realize that the one skill you need to develop among all others is resilience. The bouncing back. And you already have resilience. It's a muscle. And it's something which uh, you need to work to develop. And how, uh, how do you do this? Um, number one, read. Uh, the knowledge and the inspiration. Keep your mind busy. Read. I am reading uh, a book right here about success and inner peace. So read, that's number one. Um, if you don't have a book, go online. Download, Google, read. Um, number two, you've got to create something I'm calling your circle of resilience. Your circle of resilience is your two or three friends whom you can be coming together to encourage one another. Not a pity party, but a scenario where you come together or even just Hook up every day and say, hey, how's it going, man? And encourage one another. And then the third item that uh, you need to do right now is be on the lookout for opportunities. Ask yourself, how can I serve? So step out, help, share, help your neighbor. That way, you will be on the move and uh, you are going to be just a little stable so that you can be able to harness the opportunities that are coming your way. So finally, James, I don't want to leave without asking you, you know, uh, maybe somebody saying, wow, I would like to contact this guy. 
So how would people contact you if they really wanted to have, you know, those moments where they can get some advice from you? Uh, yes, um, uh, the people I'm working with, us, especially service providers, startups, and professionals, especially professionals who are feeling really, really worried because uh, you don't know how post-corona uh, employment scenario is going to be, especially people who are looking to shift or even start a side hustle or start a second income or a third income. Uh, those are the people whom I'm, I'm working with right now. And yes, I'm available. And yes, uh, you can reach me. And the easiest thing is just to send me a WhatsApp message on my number 0722-625-329. Get in touch on WhatsApp. Share with me what's happening. Book uh, a consultation. I'm giving free consultations right now. Find out when I'm doing a free webinar. And uh, I am in the field, the digital field right now. And I'm ready to help and I'm looking forward to hearing from these people. Come, let's talk. There's always a way. Thank you so much for your time, James. Thanks, Smyna. All the best. Looking forward to hearing from you. Keep moving. Your voice is needed. Your message is needed. There is hope. Let people hear that message. And to you who is watching, thank you so much for tuning in. The best thing about any information that you find useful is to share it. Send it to someone who owns a business or someone who needs to hear some encouraging tips, especially during this season. MC Moments, catch you next time.